So this is what it looks like now with no um, bed on it. So I just want to show you the bolts that I took them out. It was a pain in the butt. Some of them because of the rust. I guess um, it's rusted, right? So it won't go. It just keeps spinning. I tried to remove. Some of them I did remove it. Some of them are not. So this one I think is one, two, three, four. I believe, yeah, no, actually there's one, two, well this one, it, the, so the, the previous owner has something on in the bed installed, so I don't know what it was, so I guess it's one, two, three, three in each side, this is a Sierra 2008, so this one is, you can see the, the mark, there was there, a bolt in it, so one, two, Maybe this one, I did remove a bolt, but it was, maybe it was not part of that, but anyway, so this is for sure one, two, three, and then I removed that one, I cut it with my grinder, then this one, as you can see, is on this side, the driver's side is one, two, and three, this one was a pain in the butt, anyway, so to remove this, Sierra or Silverado, this is a small crew cap. Um, it's a, I should have put a video of how to do it. I mean, there, I'm sure you, there is a lot of videos you can see it on YouTube. But then, you know, basically the, the neck, the neck, right, of the gasoline, which is this one. You, there's two screws here on the one, two. And then another one here. Get that out. It's better if you remove the bumper, of course, and the wheels would be a plus. And then uh, disconnect the harness from the tail lights on each side. Uh, that that spare tire is not coming off because of the rusty. I guess the bracket got seized. I'm gonna have to cut that out, put a new bracket. Uh, and then look at that mount. We're in Canada, right? So really bad, really bad weather. Of course, if you don't maintain it. But what I did, I bought a new cap, which is uh, same. I think it's 2012, but same color at least. I got lucky, and it's here. So the next job to do it will be to get that rust out. I guess I'm gonna get a couple of uh, poly, poly. I think it's poly uh, um, disc uh, to get all the rust, uh, the, uh, the much, much as I can. Can guarantee that it will be like everything. So basically, that I guess it's time to do. Um, well, you hear, of course, you know, a pump replacement, a gasoline pump pump replacement because you know might as well right and this muffle you know, of course you know this it was just a temp thing that I did it because it was falling apart but you know I guess you'll see the outcome since we're in the good weather for now hey what's up guys so this is my Sierra uh, 2008 I'm currently got the uh, Getting the uh, rust off with the grinder and this type of um, disc strip. So I'm going little by little. This is the outcome. Uh, you know, it's going. Still need to do all that. And uh, I'm gonna be. Just want to show you how it's going. And then uh, I'm gonna spray paint it black, and then uh, then put the cap. Oh, I'm, I'm actually gonna do the um, swap of of a fuel pump. I think it's better now, right? So, and then uh, and then I'll be putting the cap, the, the the bed, and see how it is. What is this? Is the first coat that I'm putting out for the of the frame? It's only first coat, right? 
Uh, while I'm there, I did the spare tire. Just why not, right? So, still need to do one more truly and get on the bottom, get underneath. Um, you know, I try my best to take the, the rust as much as I could. This strap it seems to be you know, rusted, so it's falling apart. Probably gonna put some uh, foam. So anyway, still need to do one more coat of trim, trim clad. That's what I'm using, trim clad. Um, and then after that, um, I, I am I'm gonna put the uh, the bed the bed box again, the new bed box. Anyways, and here this is the the fuel pump. I'm not gonna mess with it because it hasn't given me any issue. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut out a piece around the bed box, leave it nice and smooth, you know, and um, just when it gives me some issue, I'll take it out. I'll remove it from there, right? So I'm gonna cut out a big portion of, well, not big, but you know, a way to get it out in the near in the future if it does give me issues. A good electric fuel pump is cost about 350. And uh, anyway, this hasn't given me any issues, so hopefully not. But I'm not gonna do it. So, I said one more coat and as much as I of train clad rust paint and put the back box and uh, see how it goes. Then the truck cap.
Uh, in a better condition so you know, so I put the just no, just so uh, this is I put the tail lights the bumper together um, and uh, this bed liner right here, this box um, has some I guess a spraying former or this is like a neat, another style of bed liner which is a, it's a good shape um, I still need to put tailgate but I, I tailgate has a little minor details a scratch and I need to I want to paint it before I put it on and um, this is this bumper right here is the, it's from a newer Sierra or Silverado you know it fits straightforward it's the same as has a bracket two bolts on uh, three bolts actually in this side and it fits perfect so I might I'm, I'm probably gonna change the tail lights you know put some smoke tail lights maybe or the LED tail lights don't like it much um, so this is it and then um, when we were put it in the wife scratched this, so what are you gonna do, right? It was you probably saw in the video before. Anyway, so and this also I removed that I don't like the the trim on the doors. So I removed it and I'm gonna wax it, you know, sand it, wax it and you know it should be good, right? Anyways, so and I just wanted to point something out. Inside here when I was doing the spray, uh, the spray, when I, when I was doing the, the paint in the frame, I removed a bolt that I didn't, I forgot about it to put it back or to tie it, to tie it, so to tie it back. So for some reason when I was pressing the brake lights and the, and the hazard lights, it wouldn't turn on like completely on like solid on so and I didn't know what it was but it it's actually was a bolt to the ground of it, it was not bolting to the ground of the of the frame so that's why it was not making good contact and um, and it, I thought it was something else like a fuse or something got blown or whatever but it was not it was just a little bolt that I removed and I didn't put it back all the way in all the way tight tight Anyway, so this is it. 
Um, other than that, you know, uh, it, it probably lasts a couple of years, maybe. You know, the, I just I, I am gonna put some flares that I bought already, but I'm gonna put silicone around the the, the flares just to protect from the freaking winter, right? Um, I'm probably gonna update it with a newer photo, new, uh, and then that will be it. Oh, uh, and also remember that there are three bolts on each side when you put the back, back, back the back box pack on it. Um, I, I bought new, right, new bolts. Um, I put it in, and and it's good, solid, not going anywhere. And I also have the truck cap, the truck cap. Uh, with the same color but I'm not gonna put it now probably when the winter comes and and that's it man this is you know if you got the help uh, you can do it yourself if not you know uh, I guess take it to somebody else who can do it right but you know you can see the video that we did it uh, it's not that hard all right, well, thank you. I'm uh, probably going to be uploading for another videos. Thank you, and we may leave any comments. Um, and, you know, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I guess. Is it recording now? Yeah, it's recording. It's red here. So. Okay, just be, make sure because it's not, maybe it's not. Okay, yeah, it's recording. Okay. So again, how you doing? Thank you.